said we tried to kill myself with cinnamon. <laughs> trying to make a career on making videos, that's absurd. And I made videos kind of looking fun at that, and then I was like, hey, this is really cool. And I just kept doing it. Yeah, I just, like, recently started, like, pretty much like three months ago. Um, I was just bored, and uh, I was working with a cashier, and I just didn't have work on that one Wednesday afternoon, so I decided to make a video, and it went viral. So that's kind of what got me into the whole scene. I don't know.
got to, girl. <laughs> Did you ask how often we post videos? Every Thursday. <laughs> we got how to slash late night. That's great, except I missed this Thursday and last Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is an interesting question. <laughs> uh, so last time I uploaded was like 10 months ago. And then I uploaded this week. Just Woo! I mean, <laughs> But it was just it, <laughs> it was just so I wouldn't be mobbed here like with pitchforks and not with like cameras. Um, yeah, but I, I, I take the perspective of like if I make it like really good, then it's okay that I waited 10 months. Um, Yes. You uploaded on my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I try to keep to a schedule. I put on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why Friday? You know, I just felt like an like, appropriate day for my situation. But uh, but I try to stick to that because it keeps me on task. And I was like, I would just fall into a nothing. So, yeah. <laughs> For me, 
more they want to stay engaged and want to come back because we all kind of become friends and family. It's corny as it sounds, it's actually true. And it's stuff that I made fun of seven years ago, and now I'm like, they're my family, and I'm so like crazy about it. But I feel like for, for me and my followers, it's just staying engaged with them and um, having a relationship with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite platform is probably Instagram. I know I'm such a teenager, but I am. And uh, probably like Facebook and all that, and how I keep like engaged. Well, like false promises and <laughs> all that. <laughs> no, really, really, I, uh, I like, I really like, like, like my subscribers and my viewers. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs>
say, yeah, we chose to, to do this and to continue this. So um, every now and then, I think with anything you do, there's uh, at least you know some amount of pressure, some amount of stress and frustrations. But um, and yeah, there it is when it gets overwhelming, especially probably with everyone on this panel having like a viral video. It's like that feeling times like a million. Um, but for the most part, I, I don't really think any of us would keep doing it if it was you know, too much, um, I think. I, I'm really appreciative of everything that's come from it, so. Yeah, I, I, I never get overwhelmed because I, I don't upload that often, and I don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't have this uh, like the family thing with my my followers and subscribers. Unfortunately, I wish I was that type of personality where I could just kind of get in front of the camera and then, you know uh, uh, do this thing where you connect with someone through a lens. That's very difficult for me to do. Um, so I never have a problem with it. When I meet somebody that that has seen my videos, I'm overjoyed because it doesn't happen to me every day. And so. I, I'm very excited when that happens. What was your last video? Uh, oh, it was called uh, After Ever After 2, which is the second. Woo!
which is like sound like an accent, and the video is titled What Languages Sound Like to Foreigners. So I got like a bunch of like like Brazilians and Japanese people, oh, like Portuguese doesn't sound like that, and Japanese doesn't sound like that. And, you know, I just I just make fun of the haters like right back, and I have a lot of fun doing that. So I, I don't have a problem. With that, so. Uh, well, I think in the beginning it was, it was pretty hard because, uh, like, my first video ever blew up and I had, like, this large amount of people, like, suddenly in my life and, like, cared about what I was doing and posting and some of them loved me, a lot of them hated me, um, and so in the beginning, like, I'm not going to lie, it was very hard, I, like, cried multiple days because I Everybody hits me. Um, but then you, I think you just kind of reach a point where you understand like that it's just for as many like I don't know you can get thousands and thousands of like really good comments and feedback and you so you can't just focus on one really negative thing that someone says and um, and it's the internet. I mean a lot of times too like if people are mean and um, like yeah. Just uh, if you like reply to them and you're nice, they like freak out and they're like, oh, I love you. <laughs> like I don't think that there's many people that genuinely want to murder me. Well, um, I, I what I tend to do is I like go to channels I like, like Charlie Gone, uh, uh, Miranda Sings, and I'll read their comments. <laughs> and and usually they're like. Most of them are positive, and there's negative ones. And it's like if, if people are saying negative things about these people who really work hard and are very talented and I respect, then it's like who cares what they say about me? And it's like uh, it's sort of the, the equal playing field. And and you know when you give somebody a, a keyboard, they have instant power and they can hide behind his veil. So it, it, I mean it's like this this like angry word shouting from the void, and it doesn't matter to me. I, I don't really notice it that much. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I can say very honestly that online hate has never bothered me except for one day in my life, and that was the first day it all happened. Uh, because I was like 13, I did cry. Um, but just like Colleen said, she has viewers that back them up. My mom has a YouTube channel. She <laughs> goes on there and writes back to people.
Moral of the story is haters gonna hate. <laughs> <laughs> and also the bias, which I think is a really good message. Um, so I'm gonna see you guys. Go block. Go block. <laughs> Just proud of what I'm putting out. So I don't know if you really 
need a lot, as long as you know what you're doing, you love what you're doing, that's what matters. I mean, it does get to the point where, like, you, like everyone said, you need it um, at some point, but you just have to be smart about it.
thing to be proud of right now. Um, so yeah, that's my thought. <laughs> so um, uh, my second video, which was me singing in 14 different genres, um, which <laughs> went viral, um, generated some interest from record companies. So. I got a record deal, so that's awesome. And, <laughs> um, and I was also on the Ellen DeGeneres show. The Generous? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, she was generous. I got a tripod. <laughs> I was on the show about uh, two months ago. That was that was awesome. I was also on the Mario Lopez um, TV show and radio show, so that was a lot of fun. And. Um, I'm gonna continue making YouTube and like doing the whole YouTube scene because I think it's so much fun. And I was actually offered uh, a part in a Jackie Chan movie, so that was awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's really fun. Did Ellen give you underwear? No comments. <laughs> what if she like gives your guests underwear? That's not like me being weird. <laughs> what did she smell like? <laughs> Not that you're not doing that anyway, 
Yeah, it was, it was insane that she would choose to be here and uh, to meet me and, and several other YouTubers and that, I mean, really have an influence on these people's lives, that what we do inspires them. Uh, and, and I'm inspired by everybody on the panel and everybody here. And so just, you know, meeting people I love and then having people meet me as one of those people, uh, it, it blows my mind. Um, well, dealing with all of like the hate that I was given and stuff like that, and being how young I am, it's what I love is that it's really nice for girls to kind of talk to me as a little sister. And being that I'm not really, I don't get to meet all of them. Obviously, we come to these things, but that's a lot of times the only time people get to see us. Um, is meeting someone on the internet and being able to kind of help them through something and if whether it's a direct message on Twitter or a YouTube comment where they seem to be having a hard time and being able to meet them or help them or just any sort of, like, like I said, just a positive influence and in seeing your viewers also spread a message I think is the best thing also because you don't get to meet all of them and they only get to see you a little bit and to know that you can inspire them with, I mean, I, I literally made a song about a day of the week. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Um, well, I made two, actually. So, uh, <laughs> that ruined my day. <laughs> um, and, and being able to take from that, and actually, I, a lot of people think like I'm a joker, but I'm not real. And um, knowing that they can kind of be that, um, unpopular opinion and help the like help and bullying and help spread no cyber abuse or anything like that. Seeing girls being able to kind of change their actions or help other people that are going through it is I think the best thing for me. Very well spoken right here. Um I think it uh, I mean goes back to what Colleen said about right? um there isn't really um one interaction that is necessarily better than the rest. Um, but uh, I do recall uh, last VidCon, that was my very first VidCon, and it was one of the happiest times of my life, um, because uh, we don't always get to, like Rebecca said, we don't always get to see the faces that the numbers and the avatars and the usernames represent, and um, so when we get to come to VidCon, that's very, very special for us. Um, but uh, there was this uh, girl that came up to me last year, and um, it, she started crying. And I was like, stop, what's happening? Why are you doing this? <laughs> that, there's, that I put on a lot of eyeliner sometimes, and then and I talk very fast. Um, and, um, but she said, like, no, no, um, you know, your videos have uh, truly saved me. And I was like, no, <laughs> that, that can't possibly be true. Um, but she uh, insisted and went into very great detail about how uh, she had intentions to end her life. And she told me that my videos brought her back from the brink and told me that she that my videos gave her hope. And, and it's such a bizarre, lovely, beautiful concept, hope. Like that, that a lot of a lot of eyeliner, and she even went on to say that she watched my personal videos, and so me talking awkwardly to no one <laughs> helps this girl keep living, and that's so beautiful, isn't it? I mean, there's like I think that there could be nothing more special than that, and that's what inspires I think all of us keep going to know that we're making a real true impact on people's lives and baby them is beautiful. Yeah, I'm a teacher. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't feel like I'm, I'm targeted at any specific organizations, um, but what I tend to do with my videos, at least the parodies, is just bring attention to maybe current events or events that happened a while back um, and, and make them entertaining and interesting. Like, it, it's hard to believe that um, uh, Hurricane Katrina was nine years ago, and so a lot of my followers might be like 13 or 14 and didn't really understand it. And so, uh, yeah, when I make a Disney Princess uh, parody and like, I talk about Hurricane Katrina, a lot of them don't know what that was, and then they'll look it up, or even the War on Terror, things like that. Just sort of like, yeah, like uh, current events and, and stuff like that. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's about it as far as what I do for uh, charity organizations and things like that, which is unfortunate. I should get into that. <laughs> um, like I've said before, I'm, I'm huge on, on bullying prevention just because, I mean, we, all of us here have such a voice that I don't think we really think about, and it's so nice to be able to use it for something. I mean, people don't like my singing. I mean, at least I can, like, kind of do something else with it. Uh, I've been linked with a, an organization called PACER, and they're just a bullying prevention um, organization, and what I like about them is they focus way more on just ending bullying in general instead of targeting a bully, because it really doesn't do anything if all of a sudden you're bullying a bully. Um, and I was just actually worked with a woman named Paula Todd on her book, which uh, they did a whole chapter on kind of like the story and how how someone who can kind of go through all this hate at such a young age use it to help others. And um, and I don't know why I, I just say like why why would you not help and bully bully prevention is a huge thing that so many of you guys deal with too. And I don't think there's really one person that doesn't deal with it. So um, that's what I'm really passionate about and um, it's something that I, I love to help people with because I never want anyone to feel bad about themselves for no reason. I think everyone just pretty much nailed it. Um, I personally am not linked with any organization, um, but um, basically exactly everything that Lena said, like off the page uh, from myself, but um, I haven't done anything publicly, but um, I've certainly been looking to. Uh, I, I want to get a lot more involved uh, publicly with the, um, with the little charity scene because, um, like Rebecca said, we all have an intense voice that people will listen. And um, in the past, I've uh, kind of kept it to myself for that, how dare you? How very dare you? done it publicly for uh, odd reasons because like I was worried that people would think I was like be stupid but I'm like that's stupid you're dead I'm dumb for not doing that so well, I got in the green shirt <laughs> 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 